Hello everybody, Mr. E from Art with Mr. E, and I wanted to show you what we did today during our very strange modified schedule. <laughs> Middle Tennessee had some weather today and all the other districts canceled except for our district, which we did a two hour delay. That changed our classes to a half hour a class schedule. It's hard to do a half hour when you're used to having an hour. I know that some people are used to half hours or 45 minutes, but I have always taught for an hour uh, for each of my classes. So it was a little bit challenging. So I had to come up with a project that I could do with all the classes that could be done in a half hour that they would enjoy and would have some kind of benefit because I don't wanna just do fluff. So we worked on painting and we used temper cakes. I set all of the pans out on the tables. They were there all day long and I prepped my water cups. I use these tumblers that I get at Dollar Tree and Dollar General. There's a three pack for a buck. Well, a buck 25 now at Dollar Tree. And they come in red, white, blue, purple, orange, different colors. But these have a really wide base. I don't have much trouble with students knocking them off or tipping them over. I've, I've really only had that happen once or twice in the past 15, 16 years I've used these. So I really like these. They're very easy to clean and stack and store and they're very useful. Anyway, so I also cut our paper in half because we have half the time, I gave them half the paper. Smaller paper, we can get done a little bit quicker. <laughs> now, I showed the students an animal or several pictures of an animal. And they had to use that as inspiration to draw and paint their picture. We used Unreal Colors, but we looked at hamsters and mice, bunnies, and rats. Those are my teacher examples. So each class focused on a different animal, and they can make theirs different than how I made mine. They can make the ears bigger or smaller. They could make the eyes bigger or smaller, rounder, more oval. They, I let them have some choices within what we are drawing. So I started off with showing them simplifying the lines, drawing large so that we could accomplish this project in the time that we had. So I said, we're just gonna do very simplistic lines and then we will make it look amazing with the paint. And that's it. That's all they had to draw. We talked about color and how with the temper paint, we wanna build the color from lightest to darkest. So I told them to pick a lighter color for their base. Now I gave them two brushes. I gave them a big brush and a little brush. I said, use the big brush to put down your base color. So they were allowed to select whatever color that they felt was a light color. I definitely told them black was a no-no, that that was the last color we would use for the day. And then just to paint their picture. And the only thing that they needed to avoid were the nose and teeth because everything else we could paint on top of. And they could honestly, they could paint the nose too, depending on what color they wanted to paint it. With the temper paint, we talked about how less water means a thicker color, a darker, richer color, and also less dry time, <laughs> which is also important when you've only got 30 minutes to do a painting. We also had some discussion while they were painting. We talked about why would artists need to rush in what situations would an artist have to paint quickly and make certain choices because of time, which was fun with the older kids. I didn't do that with kindergarten, but with the older kids, we talked about that. I told them that if it looked shiny, it was too wet to paint on top of. It needed to look matte. 
I also told them that when they put the next color on top of the yellow, that they wanted to make sure that their brush was dry as possible. Now, I teach my students to press their brush on the inside of their water cups. Do not tap, tap, tap. When you tap, 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 you spray water everywhere and make a big mess. It's noisy and annoying. Yeah, lots of things. Then I told them to take their next color and go over the inside of the ears. We usually use watercolor in my class. That's, that's what I studied in college, so I tend to use that more than other things. It's what I love. But uh, it was fun to use the temper cakes and to see their reaction to them because they are different than watercolor. They are different than liquid temper or acrylic, things that we've also used in the classroom. Now, I encourage them to hit the big parts of their picture first. And then once they've gotten most of the color onto their paper, they could then pick up some other colors that they would use to do the fur. And then I showed them how to use the side of their brush instead of the wide of the brush, use the side of the brush to get a thinner, more hair-like mark and we talked about radial symmetry and there are so many terms that we use so many techniques that we used in this simple half hour lesson i didn't feel like it was a throwaway day i felt like we were able to accomplish something that was meaningful and that they can apply in other lessons which is really i mean it's what you want and we weren't able to st start the new lessons today, but we were able to do a lesson that was meaningful. And they really enjoyed. Now I put the red in, I told them to wait a minute or so, give it a little bit of dry time, and then they could take their next color and add in. Now it was fun because they were asking questions like, what about this color? Could I use this color? Could I use this color? And we would talk about the properties of that color and how it interacts with the color that's underneath. Once again, good, meaningful discussions. And you just keep going around and around and around. Now, if you don't have temper cakes, you could use liquid tempera or watercolor for such a lesson. I just thought the temper cakes would be a fun change of pace for my students. Now, the last color I have them do, and you can do other things, like with certain grades, you may wanna add some kind of shading in there to add more dimension. I showed one group how to add the color and then blend it out into the main part of the animal's face. And that would make it look like it's more 3D-ish. Give it a little bit of a shadow. And they love all that kind of stuff. And then last, black. So I told them to get the black, but they wanted it to be very dry. They didn't want it to be soppy or dripping from their brush because the black, if you make a mistake, it's really hard to clean that up. The other ones you can maybe fudge a little bit to make it look great, but black is really hard to clean up any mistakes. Now, if you want to add whiskers with paint, you can teach them how to use the brush, how to hold it at an angle and to add the thin lines, but there's nothing wrong with waiting till later and adding it with color pencil to ensure really nice, crisp, skinny lines. So this might be something you wanna do if your schedule is ever modified and you only have a short period of time with your students. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye.